It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. Hey, it's Ketchikun! I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. But so this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Peace out, pretty boy. It never has any point hey, to anything. Was buzzing earlier. Nice to meet you. I am the only I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Alibaba. There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let me let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medid a uh, Medjid, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you, just, if you so desire, I can help, um, I can take care of them as well. If you believe in my skills, I can track down their accounts just I have just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tools on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Is this a prank? I can't find the account to send any, a response to. All I get back is an error message. Mm -hmm. You can't reply back. No. I don't know what they're smart. about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Chat, I'm gonna grab my Kit Kat. It's like I'm right sure over why. there on top of my refrigerator. Right here in the basement. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? A, I hope this chocolate is still good. I haven't had this chocolate forever. I don't think why I've is he getting done it. When he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. Possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then is this person measured? I doubt it, considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Could be. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal? I am not helping anyone of that sort. Alibaba! Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? I'm actually Cafe LeBlanc.
Oh. <laughs> Watch with the big group. Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A Your sister council how president, you? eh? I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions what by Medjit. What victory? We didn't even do anything yet! Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We what? are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Confiscation of possessions? What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything I guess positive. that makes more sense, bank accounts and whatnot. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't These must be the people that are working do? with that SIU director it's or whatever. We can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card. Anything else in there? Yo, we just got calling anyway. carded. There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. So, uh... What will happen is, whenever she finishes the first one, Ryuji and starts again. the second one, he I'll start the first one. never shuts up, does he? On stream, of course. For all you lovely people. Entertainment. from this guy. Tell him, we need the name of the target. Saba Sakura. 
Oh no! Not Futaba! Not my baby sister! took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, you have. We should it's let name the person know who's this. letting us crash at their place. Shit just got real, chat. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? The Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name. Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How way back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. No. Well, his situation does make. We're living at his diner. Calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean... This might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Probably. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. I forgot how we good make sure Hershey's cookies and cream out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. <clears throat> hmm? What's up? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Yo, the music's got real dark. Boom. <laughs> An option. Bad things happen. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Yo, can I kick her out now? I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Thank you for the host ace moment. Time's to go on, buddy. And stay out. That woman is for everybody really good joining from ace moment stream. Off. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? How's it going? Hope you're having a good work? Thursday. You got something to say? We are in the middle of getting to the the fourth palace. Chilling was up till six a.m. Yeah, sounds like me. I couldn't go to sleep at all. I wasn't up to 6 a.m. I was up to like 4. I was just laying in the bed. Couldn't fall asleep. Um, I laid down at like 11 o'clock. I couldn't fall asleep. 
So at probably around 2, 2.30, I was like, okay, let me watch some TV and see if that puts me to sleep. And I just couldn't fall asleep. It was like 4 o'clock, and I was able to force myself to fall asleep. You washed your hair and took a shower? What's that look? You got something to say? I'm trying to figure out the best thing to say to him. What was that? I guess I'd say that. This doesn't involve you. That did it? Ah, okay. I wish that stuff works for me. I'd still be sitting there wide awake. Is we talking about your daughter? That's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Uh, he's taking his anger out on me. Oh no! Well, and things were going so well. Exists, at least, but it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Nope. Told you not to bother him, but nah. I thought about zipping him up in my bag and tossing him in the ocean. Or the lake. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Uh, yeah, that sounds like your sister, Makoto. It's nothing. Yeah, no, it's your sister. So to summarize what you told us... Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence. Hey, 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 don't you start saying that. Is he's that not an abusive dude. Just angry. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready to be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole your her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Uh, well, that's a kind of hard thing to bring up. You have a palace. Palace? What are you talking about? Palaces for? That has nothing to do with the conversation. Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. I want to meet you. Meet with me? That would be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That, um, that might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking for Futaba Sakura. Good this ever happened. I won't, report, I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you'll excuse us. Wait a second. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. You're not done here. Uh, huh? Oh. Did he just shut the whole operation down? Yep. This doesn't make any sense. It does. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. So well, how um how far have you gotten it. into the we'll fourth palace, uh Alibaba to help us with the base? Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjit out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? But Medjit is not out the picture. You we still have to point. worry about Medjit. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. No! Medjit's still oh, yeah. there! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown. We got 150,000 yen out of it. 
That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? <laughs> Actually, definitely don't I'm do it, okay? Sushi. You're okay with that too, right? You're a cat, of course you want sushi. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Our vacation. You seem quite busy, sai -san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? How's it our fault? Is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No. Not at all. Well then, to our victory. The more I talk to- Shank him. Chat, I need you all to band together Easy and myself. post Shank Ryuji now. Akechi kun. Akechi? Choke him like Homer does Bart? Exactly. Could and then Shank him. Friends of Nijima -san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... Those two! She's, uh... An and Ryuji are gotta be the worst possible people to ever have part of anybody's team. They will get you caught in a heartbeat. <laughs> what is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. 
My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Dude, Ryuji, you just need to stand there and shut up. Your mouth should not be moving at all. If anything, you should tape it shut or flipping... What's the word? Stitch it shut. But stop talking. Stop it. <sighs> wait, 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 chat. Should I throw him under the bus? Should I just toss him under the bus? Does he deserve to be tossed under the bus? Because I could toss him under the bus right now. Should I should I just chuck him under the bus? I can do that. You know that, right? See right there at the bottom? Ryuji's a phantom thief. Should I chuck him under the bus? I need to know, chat. I need to know because this is a very serious question. Do I throw him under the bus? Get him out the way now so he doesn't cause problems in the future, right? Toss him under the bus. Nah, I probably will regret it later. I probably will regret it later, right, chat? We, we won't throw him under the bus. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be nice. Maybe next <laughs> time, though. We'll definitely think about that bus thing. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Ryuji, I just said keep your mouth shut. You've been a valuable <laughs> point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. Well, and a catchy in his cool looking tail with his Avengers briefcase. You ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though we had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Um, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And Why don't we have them mask themselves seeking. too? What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBlanc? We can talk more over there. Woo! Things are getting serious! We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? Magic. He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? 
Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, He's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. Smart real? girl. She's so, so smart. She's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Will this be okay? I won't ask anything that will get you thrown out. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go ha! together. You, you, you deserve it, Morgana. This is what you get for not letting me do things in the nightlife. Wait, do I gotta go too? Because I don't want to be... Oh, no. Nobody's answering. I'm gonna get thrown out. I'm but gonna get thrown out on, on the street. You think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Ah, oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Not inside that house. Do you think that's okay? Do mm, you better go back to the shop? Probably. You better go back to the shop. My apologies, boss. You better not go in that house. You okay? Oh, uh, uh, well, chat. Chat, I regret Hello, to inform you that we, sir? the main character, have just been kicked out of our place because we just trespassed in some place that we the aren't supposed to be. Open and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Send the cat. Please send the cat. It's better to send the cat. Oh no. <laughs> How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Yes, you are. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? Yes, yes you may. Ah, uh, that's my shoulder. <gasps> I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore, I'm leaving. Oh no, I never took the present to be something like this. She always seems so strong willed. Hilarious. You're. Oh, good, good, good evening, sir. We, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. 
friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... <laughs> oh, God, this is hilarious. You kids are here, too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? <laughs> yeah. My daughter. Could she be Utapa Sakura? You told Nijima-san, too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize, if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Ooh, chat, I am... My oh, chest hurts from well, laughing too hard. Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but... Always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> But one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes, she committed suicide. Oh no! Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. Mm. Poor girl. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believe in that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in the room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. 
She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. because she's smart! Mm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Yeah, I understand that. You have no other choice. You don't want to push her, because if you do, she might break down. To the point where you can't help her anymore. But you also don't want her to waste away in her room. What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. Eat the sushi! Don't forget the fatty tuna! I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. You should! No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? Wow, that was quick. She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some Probably time. Probably with Futaba. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. So, wait, does that mean this next we palace is done with Adam? After all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Sounds good to me. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Uh, hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> Kitty cat. Stuck in her house. Kitty cat. Hey, I'm just happy he's gone. Maybe I can... No! <laughs> Why, game? Why? I finally got rid of the cat and you still won't let me do anything! <laughs> I finally got rid of the cat. But it didn't matter. I have to do all the stuff. They won't let me do anything. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? <laughs> the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Hmm. Be 
You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair, too. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Okay. Chat, you don't know how hard it was for me to finally get rid of the cat. But I didn't do it well enough because he found his way back. Done it all. Futaba Sakura, she had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? That should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Level up! Rank two! All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. So I guess her real name is Futaba Wataba? Alright, school time. Seriously? I can't. And we even have to wear a uniform here? Dang. Yep. Morning. I was actually hoping it would be a uh, Kasumi that popped up on my side, but you know, An, pretty lady either way. Though An's not smart, so. I think I still would have rather had Kasumi. Yeah. What can you do? Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Eh. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace, but can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. The pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. 
So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why is that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Well, so the answer to your question, Morgana, do we have a choice? Because if I say no, you'll probably just re-loop this question over and over again until I say yes. So I'm gonna go with yes. All right, let's just make sure we're cautious. <laughs> well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The one see where I'm going with that, there, chat? You see where I was going with that? And Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? If you are said, uh, if you are in fact a human. No, I'm sure I'll remember. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. Rank five? Rank six. Ace tools allow you to craft all infiltration tools. All right. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. What? Well, we could if you shut up, cat. Now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Conditions have not been met. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Maybe an oasis? Have not Nothing so far. Bear me. Case, how about hell? We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, she's going to answer the door? I'm sorry for being she's startled a and shut screaming in. yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. She's afraid of the dark. That's actually pretty darn cute. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is going to be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. 
The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Looks like you should ask something different. A house is a house. What do you want to hear? Who is living in this house? It's painful. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks like you should ask. Why? I don't know. Looks like. Why not go up? I can't leave this place. I'm not going. I'm going to die here. What? Die? Is this going to continue? Coffin. The key word is coffin. Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it. Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. And did you just say clicky? You idiot! Don't activate it here! Because that means Futaba probably gets dragged in too, doesn't she? It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Because he's an idiot! And I Stop wish he wasn't on our team. In the desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Oh, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Yes, we are. Walking. Of course not. Move your the ass. Walls will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. Uh, is it? You're so concerned. I'm actually kind of concerned because the AC could just be his farts. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. That would be horrible. What is this music? Wait, who's driving? Oh, Makoto has a license. Yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, Aung, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. Ooh, I like it. How are the guys? Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> you see our face? Our face is like. Is that it? <laughs> Yo, our face is hilarious. Smack, please, here. <laughs> 
no! I mean, Ryuji's face, I expected that. It's but, so uh. Our face? <laughs> AC ain't working at all. Big eyes, like. Lukewarm air about. That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half assed. What was that? You wanna fight, punk? <laughs> Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. To think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead? Hmm? Yeah, her mother. It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey, guys, can we go in already? I ain't gonna be any cooler. Oh, no. Oh man. It's interesting that we're going to do this in our casuals. I can see it. <gasps> oh, so why let us come over here then if we can't do anything with it? So I guess there's no time period or time uh, constraint for this one. Like we don't have to do things in a certain time. We just have at it. Hey. We just want to make sure we double check everything. Oh, I guess we can't go that way, huh? I have something. It's really weird being in the palace in your casuals. It seems. Indeed. Wait, do I still have weapons though? It's somewhere. Whoa! So nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba's room is relative. Um, real in reality, an AC has AC pumping through. Um, through it. Either way, this is a relief. Uh, uh a close up at change, even now. That has never happened to us before. What? It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. What's this way? Okay, so... Either way you go, you're going to end up... So you can take the quick way or the long way. I guess Morgana's the only one in his battle suit. This is amazing. Oh. This Let's music go. though. Chill. I love it. I wonder if we get up to the end to the treasure and then she starts to see us as an enemy. Beautiful. Do you think so? Hey. Hmm, there's someone there. <coughs> hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True. This one's kind of dressed like a queen. 
So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Yo, Ryuji, like that. shut up. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? <sighs> she talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Okay then. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. <coughs> Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer. Why don't you say something? Ah. Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Her memories. Don't come don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. Uh-oh! What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Yo, she sees us as an enemy now. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? You do. This is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there and say something! I see, Your so that's fault. what's going on. This is what happened to, this is what happened to her tomb, the Someone cognitive stage. What's wrong, hon? Damn it. What the hell? Doing good. This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and. Turn. What now? I, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew there was gonna be a giant ball chasing us down from stairs. Because I thought I could at least get some explore exploration done in this piece. The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. It's a the little less than a month. whom they singled out have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international. He happiness. says summer vacation, but it's literally all gonna take but a day. How can Maybe you be enjoying two. this? 
This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. That ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? Wow! <laughs> 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 right like this. It's not that you. <laughs> it's not that you weren't. It's that you not could. Again. Is that the mother? That can't be. Did she dye her hair orange? Or maybe her father's hair was orange. Ah! Wait, Futaba's here? Well, that sucks. Wait, what is it? Well, that's the auto. Well, that sucks. Is doing this really going to help us do something about me uh, Medjid? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjid will definitely make a move. Alibaba, I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba, can you really do something about Medjid? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded. I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I promise that. I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like that? Um, like take down the server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all I. That's all it would take to convince you. All right. I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then, wait. Are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why did this have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Roshi. As always, we leave it to you. It's your call. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Of course we do. And we will. Because we are the Phantom Thieves! I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshidas. That's still part of the palace though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. Palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough to know the city layout. But Futaba probably doesn't. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true-to-reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. True. Listen up. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go. Into the palace we go. Let's do this! No slacking! 
Says the biggest slacker in the world. cool even though a little excessive but that was cool all right so we are now inside palace number four well now I know why this existed It says locked on it. us with an effing boulder you want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not <laughs> a deal you say there is a town nearby i would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me oh yeah i think i remember seeing a town on the way here if you bring what was stolen back to me i will give you a reward i'll even tell you how to proceed can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. See what appears to be buildings over there. What do you want to do? Want to head over there to, to the town, Joker? It's pretty far away, so this is my chance to shine. <clears throat> it was this has to be the city Futaba Shadow Mansion. Hmm. Look, looks quite desolate. She said only bandits reside here. Sandman! Shadow calcul um, Calculus. Good night, you Shadow Calculus. You can see which skills the Shadow possesses, as well as an item, as its item drop in the Analyze screen. It should be easy if we stay focused. This enemy is beneath us. It should be easy if we stay focused. So should I just, like, attack it normally? Resist the wind. Mid battle party change. Hifumi Toga's confident um confident ability Koma Sabaki allows you to switch out party members mid battle. On Broshi's turn, you can select who to switch in by pressing the L2 and selecting party from the order um order menu. So 
switching out party members will count as Boshi's action for that particular turn. Also, you cannot switch out an afflicted teammate. You're not surprised. Well, not weak in the bless. My friend! Let's go. My food, my boo boo. It's trying to run. Watch out. This enemy is beneath us. So, uh, side, death, electric, fire. Never see you coming. Oh, They're weak to fire. Yeah, That's what I see. expect from you, Joker. Half the time, I don't even want to do uh, ambushes just so that I can hear that music. Uh, Lucky Punch. Why the heck do we even have that? Complete victory. Hmm. Now let's keep going. I'll reveal oh. your Ooh. true form. Gone. Take Mercy. over. Oh, actually, I'm supposed to be trying to capture these people, aren't I? Gunfire gets through its defenses. Watch your remaining ammo. Ah. It's almost scary how good I am. Let me your power. Well, let's talk. Once you understand, once me understand you. Have to me look closer. We can see you're really young human. You're not even alive that many years. Why you fight and put yourself in harm's way? I want to get stronger. Get stronger? Oh, because you are man, huh? So no, say no more, human. Me get it. Such so ancient times, humans feared and respected gods and spirits. So why me in this situation right now? Why me at your mercy? Times have changed. Alright, Anzu. Mask attained. You've got a new mask, Joker. So what was the point of coming up here then? I can see it. Ha! This has to be it. I have to say, the mood of this town is definitely strange. I can't tempt anyone around. Hey guys, you looking for something? Heh, I thought I heard someone rustling around about here. And here y'all are. Welcome to the desert, fellow tra um, trader. Hmm? What does he mean by traitor? We don't care about your welcomes. You're a bandit, right? Just cough up the thing you stole. Ha! Well, ain't this interesting. A group of criminals coming after a fellow traitor. Well, you're gonna have to catch me if you want it. Wait! Me? Well, we'll have time to talk later. Let's go after him. You'll never get away! Don't worry though, there's still nothing special. Let me your power. What's that shadow so damn happy about? Hey man, why don't we stop this shit and go have some fun somewhere? Hell, I got all sorts of girls lined up if you're into that. Really? Oh, you're talking you're taking the bait. By the way, I think you could take that mask off while you were talking. Pretty rude, man. Part of my face. I am thou, thou art 
Sandman. Got the Sandman mask. All right. I have something. So chase him down, but. Hey, I said, wait, where? You're too slow, Mar. You'll never catch me at this rate. You ran off again. Hurry up and catch him fast. Ha! You tired already? What a bunch of losers. Grave robbing is a game of stamina, you know. Well? Oh, he actually did run over there. Yes. Yo, Bandit, what's the matter? Not running anymore? <laughs> don't even think about coming one step closer. Give us what you stole. Hey, don't be ridiculous. You gotta let me go. I mean, you guys came to raid that tome, right? I'm tome too, right? Why don't we work together and share the plunder? <laughs> Don't talk to us like we're the same as you. We came here to save you, Top of Chai. Now give us back what you stole. You want? So, you want to do this no matter what, huh? Well, in that case, I guess I don't got a choice. Yo, that looks cool. Raging Bird God. Garula. Reflex wind. The strongest wind type attack. Do I not have succubus anymore? Okay. So his weakness is not fire. Or win. Oh wait, you know what? Oh, it's that gun. Let's go. Let's try ice. No, that's not it either. Um. So I know. I think I know what his weakness is. Kagano Uzume. Nope, I was wrong. Was that his weakness? Let's try Frey. Missed him. This is my other self. Uh oh. Let's go. So let's see. Chemical, Psy, Light, and Death. Persona. 
succubus. Go down. Hey ha, not death. Huh, so it's gotta be light. Well, that sucks. Um, let's see. Persona. I need to go to... The bird. Wreck a rim. I apologize. Kill everybody? Much thanks. Here it comes. I'll help you finish him off. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Make way for the fist of the phantom. Serious. Fist of the phantom. Got him. All yours. Go. Yeah. Here. Ah. He's like, Greg Soda, no! This is the Phantom. Get serious. Zone Papyrus. Alright! He won. Oh, he dropped something. Is this some kind of papyrus parchment? It looks like um it looks like there's something written inside. <sighs> hey, no peeking at a girl's belongings without her permission. You know, just what the hell's happened in their heart. There's this bandit, those weird voices saying you killed her, and who knows what else. It's a total freaking mess. Means... So does this mean that even though she's the palace ruler, she can't control what happens in here? I don't know. I've never seen a case like this. Uh, champion cup from Morgana and Makoto. Yeah, I wasn't expecting full-on, super ultimate, high-tier wind blast attacks from him. Let alone an AOE super ultimate high-tier wind blast attack. Well. We completed Futaba's chain um Futaba Chan's request. Let's go see her again. Sounds good. I'm curious about what the reward too. See. We're back this is the thing you said they stole, right? Hopefully. Well done. It is yours now. Okay. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That, that is, is a map important. of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come further in and... Oh. What in the... Huh? A Futaba-chan dis... God damn it! <laughs> she got us good! She got us good, Chet! It... Is this... Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! It doesn't seem like Mona was moving anywhere, though. He was stuck in the center, just the still in alive? circles. Ow. First a boulder, then this. Uh, did we piss her off somehow? I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Simple defense mechanism. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futaba-chan open the door to her heart. Right. I have no objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. Let's see it. I wonder if she has, uh... What's McCall's in here? The uh the seeds. 
forget what they call them. Vanity seeds? Will seeds, that's what they call them. Oh, a treasure a, demon. Bravely matched here. Just don't let your guard down. My Garu. Sona. My friend. You're mine. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. Bravely matched here. Just don't let your guard down. Let's Take go. over. Take over. Take over. Game over. Oh no! I actually wanted to capture her. I am down. Someone finish it. Finish it. Persona! Go down! Out of weakness! That was incredible, Joker! I think you will coerce me into giving in. How brilliant. My name is the Stone of Scone. My distance shall become a new part of you. Okay. I wonder what the dealio is with the Stone of Scone. Oh wow, it has a lot of attacks. The ultimate vessel. It requires bonus traits when fusing with the treasure demon. I didn't realize this had all those. So I wonder if I can fuse them two together. I will get rid of Sandman because I really don't care. Your power is incredible, Joker. I suppose it worked out in the end. We got the experience. Amine, Amine, Amine no okay. Uzume went up. I keep I can almost it. pronouncing her name wrong. Gotcha. Is it weak against nuclear attacks? They're weak to gunshots. the ones that explode. Ooh, she leveled up. 28. Now she has diorama. Or diorama. We can get rid of dia for diorama. All right. I can see it. That was an easy win. So then, what was the point of coming down here then, if there was really nothing over there? I have something. Oh, I suppose I had to... Oh no, I guess I could climb up that way over there. What do you want to do, Joker? Oh, there's a chest right here. Well, that was a silly question. We're gonna do what we always do when we find a chest. Open that sucker up. Show 
Show me your true form. <laughs> Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Electricity is its weak point. This should be no problem for you. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Go ahead and knock him out. Didn't kill him all. Wow, that's important. Bang, 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 bang. Hold up, I surrender. I want an item. I didn't ask for this. Yes, an item that was worth all that talking. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Oh, did he summon another Sandman? Fox, you have to aim. That's bad. It's well, going to contact on the, the next now. Oh, so that's what that means when they escape. I didn't realize that could happen. Okay. They're on to us? This is getting dangerous. Ah, so he increases the uh Got a beat. What if I was a human? Then what if you're doing what? Then what you're doing? Well, it'd be a criminal act. That's true. That Think of how I feel. A group of strangers appearing, forcing me to do whatever they want. Doesn't what? Doesn't what you're doing bother your conscience? Now that you mention it. This dude is called Naga, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Anzu. You've got a new mask, Joker. This is basically just to get mask uh, data in our uh, database. Focus. In case we need to do fusions with them later. Come back up here. It's somewhere. Wait, what's up here? I'll reveal your true form. So then I have to wonder what's that other pl the other direction? Slithering snake on Negative pile card? Let's pull back for now. 
Interesting. Okay. I can't get there right now though, right? Enemy ahead. I'll reveal your true form. I wonder how long that lasts. He kind of looks like an old man cat. Level up. Ooh, twenty nine, sweet. Okay. Oh, I think I just went backwards, didn't I? Somehow I ended up going backwards. So I was ad actually going the right way. But I felt like I was going the wrong way, so I ended up going backwards. Okay, let's go this way. Gotta find a safe room so I can go back to the entrance. Focus. Yeah. Hey, ain't that like the exit? I'm kind of surprised how close it ended up being. So, thank God we finally get out of here. This was all around a horrible experience. Ah, they have guard dogs in here too. It's not actually a dog though. Change the Joker. My zone. Shock them all now. They resist electricity, of course. Let's go fire. Nope. Johanna. Oh, so dude blocks. This is my other self. He blocks chemicals. Keep it going, Fox. Critical? Oh crap, but it stunned him instead. Oh wait, I was supposed to capture him. Ah well, whatever. I look Amergus MA. Ooh, got a couple of level nine. A uh, twenty-nines. <laughs> Boofaloo. Medium ice damage to one foe. Get rid of Bufu. Okay. Boofalo. Keep it up. Like Buffalo, but not Buffalo. Boofalo. Yo, that dude looks uh. Hey. Oh, and there, there's something ahead. Hmm. Look how tranquil it is. It appears to be different from the shadows we've encountered prior. It's probably not a good idea to go up against such an opponent without a clear escape route. We should retreat for now. Oh, an enemy! And it looks strong. I'll reveal well, your true form. Let's figure out how strong it is. Rip off its face. Reveal. Oh, it's Anubis. 
I can't capture him, so. Well, we not weak to win, that's for certain. Uh, let's try fire. Not weak to fire, but it did get burned. That's personally, uh, that's apparently a technical. Is he weak to ice? Nope. So maybe thunder? Or maybe his weakness is cursed now? Scales tip to re reset the balance. Don't do anything reckless. Let's go. Let's try curse skill. Nope, blocks curse skill. Oh, I should have used the higher powered one. Should be finished. Oh no, he's still alive. There we go. That oh, wasn't too bad. Didn't really do any damage to me. Nice. Succubus, Phoenix, all, both went up. Alright. I can see it. Easier to. Treasure chest spot. Must be something good. Well, at least Sacramento bread. Like your name for an item, period? Did I just go? Oh, I didn't. I said, did I go in a circle? Because I felt like I did. I have something. Show me your true form. Please. Why not, right? Took him down. All right, the skirmish is over. I think we're Let's... Okay, so we have to exit now. 